Mr. Chancellor Delegate, Peter Gohafu is an internationally recognized architect who has made significant impact on the landscape of both Canada and China through his architectural and philanthropic vision. Mr. Fu completed his bachelor's and master's degrees in architecture and urban planning at Shanghai's Tongji University, then was selected to attend McGill's minimum cost housing program on a Clifford C.F. Wong fellowship. He arrived in Canada with no connections and spoke neither English nor French, but what he did have was a profound interest in developing practical designs for ordinary people. The minimum cost housing program was largely focused on finding solutions to the housing problems in the urban rural fringe of China. And Mr. Fu created thoughtful designs for high density housing in Sichuan. His work carefully considered not only the dwellings themselves, but every street corner, marketplace, and public square. Après avoir obtenu son diplôme de McGill, Mr. Fu a passé 10 ans à travailler à Toronto avant de retourner à Shanghai. Il a fait des études doctorales en architecture à l'Université Tangji, tout en mettant sur pied son propre cabinet, KF Stone Design International in Canada, or KFS. Depuis, son entreprise a façonné le spectaculaire panorama urbain de Shanghai avec ses centaines de gratte-ciel, dont la Da'an Garden et le complexe de bureaux d'envergure internationale d'Angine, sur l'avenue Poudon, qui totalise près de 5 millions de mètres carrés. Guided by Mr. Fu's belief that design creates values, KFS is committed to environmentally responsible design and construction, with projects such as the LEED Gold Certified University Hospital of Northern BC, the area's largest trauma center. In 2014, Mr. Fu combined his passion for sustainable architecture with another passion, musical theater, by writing a musical, Memory of the Valley, the story of three separated friends who vowed to reunite in the valley in which they first met. The musical is performed in a 300-seat performance space designed from recycled shipping containers placed on the front lawn of the Shanghai Culture Center. Like the friends in Memory of the Valley, Mr. Fu and McGill are reunited here today. However, even though he's now based in China, in some ways he's never really left McGill. Mr. Fu remembers his education at McGill as a truly transformative experience, a part of his life, so much so that he's maintained a close, close ties to his alma mater in several important ways. KFS regularly hosts interns from McGill, helping them gain invaluable professional experience before completing their studies. He created an exchange program between his two alma maters, McGill and Tongji University. Mr. Fu has also established a range of scholarships, fellowships, travel awards, internships, and summer research opportunities for McGill students. Today, we are proud that McGill's School of Architecture bears the name of Peter Guoha Fu. Mr. Fu's remarkable career, visionary achievements, and the transformative impact of his philanthropy embody what it means to truly give back. Mr. Chancellor Delegate, I present to you Peter Guoha Fu, so that you may confer upon him the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. Since Dr. Fu is unable to be here today, his daughter, Rebecca Fu, will accept the honorary degree on his behalf. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to invite uh, Rebecca Fu to deliver the convocation address on behalf of her father, Dr. Peter Fu. Before Rebecca delivers the address, we have a video message from Dr. Peter Fu. Dear Chancellor, Macau McBrien, Principal and Vice Chancellor for the Mr. Panda, Chair of the Board of Governor, proud families and the guests, and most of all, members of the graduating class of 2022. Becoming McGill University Honorary Doctor of Science is one of my biggest dreams in my life. And today, the dream has come true. 
I'm sorry that I cannot be on site myself. I'm still stuck in Shanghai, China, due to the COVID-19. I had I record this video with only my phone at home, without the help of any photographer or tools. However, fortunately, as my daughter Rebecca Fu, she is in Canada. I have asked her to give the speech on behalf of me to make up for my absence. Now I would like to have her give them my speech. Thanks, Rebecca. Thanks, everybody. Today is a big day for me. It is the day for dreams to come true. To start with, McGill has always been a wonderful, amazing place for me. 30 years ago, I was blessed with the Clifford Wong Fellowship. I studied here at McGill University for a year to receive my diploma of minimum cost housing. Then I worked in Canada for another 10 years, which drastically changed my life. Yet I thought it would be perfect if only I could get a degree from McGill, and today this dream of mine has come true. Then five years ago, the university changed its name of its 120-year-old School of Architecture to Peter Guohua Fu School of Architecture. That was an enormous honor for me. I was also fortunate enough to become a professor of practice in the School of Architecture. Today, however, I'm finally to receive from McGill University an honorary doctorate of science, which truly made it perfect. With this second dream of mine coming to reality, I sincerely wish our Peter Guohuafu School of Architecture a great future and to become one of, the, one of the best institutions in the discipline. I should also mention that, that, that today my daughter Rebecca Fu will be giving the speech on my behalf, who has studied in McGill for a short time. I hope my family would have a long-lasting connection to McGill University and certainly its School of Architecture. That too has been my third dream fulfilled. Lastly, and most importantly, I wish to thank all the students and teachers of McGill. I would especially like to give my thanks to Principal Suzanne Fothier. Thank you, Suzanne, and thanks to you all. Thank you, Rebecca. You've been brave to come down and uh, represent your uh, father who has done so much in the field of architecture. We talked about sustainability earlier and McGill, interestingly, has, a, has done a lot of foundational work in the way low-cost buildings can be built and not only, not only the low-cost but also a recycling of a lot of the materials and reuse of a lot of the structures. And I think uh, Dr. Peter Fu has actually put in place, through his work, a lot of the principles that he gained at McGill, which is really wonderful to see. Thank you, Rebecca.